Hello everyone, my name is Raghu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I was getting requests from many Groovesters on how we can use our custom brand font in Groove Pages. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process how you can use your custom brand fonts in Groove Pages. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get update on latest tutorial. So now, first open your Google and search for web font generator. Click on the first website. Upload the font which you want to use in group pages. So I have my font in my desktop. So I will select this font and hit the open button. So it will take a couple of seconds to upload. So you need to select this agreement as well. So once you select it, your font will be converted into web font and you will see the download your kit icon. So click on this icon and wait for a couple of seconds and your kit will be downloaded in your computer. So you will see the kit has been downloaded. So I will go here, click on show in folder. And this is the zip file. So first I will unzip this file and you will see a new folder has been created. So I will open this file and you will see there are a couple of files inside this folder. So now the first step is to upload these two files, the font files in group member area. So I will log into my group account. So you need to go to your group member area. Then hit the files icon in front of your group member area. So when you click on file icon so you will see on the right side there is an upload icon so when you click on it select the file so you need to select the file which you download after generating from that website so i will go to my download folder and go to this folder and then i have woff and woff2 fonts file. So first I will upload this file and make sure you can use the same name for your font. Like here I'm using WOF. So now I will click on the upload file button. So now my WOFF font has been uploaded. So I will upload the second font file which is WOFF2. So now I will add here file name. Okay, and hit this upload file button. And you will see, so you have two files. Now the next step is you need to open that folder which you download after the web font generator. So here I will upload my download folder from here and you have style sheet.css file. So what you need to do is you need to open this file in any of your text editor and you will see this code. So the next step is copy the location for that font. Like I'm copy the location from WFF font. Click on this action button and hit this copy URL icon open your notepad so now i copy this w o f f so i will replace with w o f f uh, then i will copy the second one w o f f 2 and replace with the w o f f 2 file now copy this whole code and then open your group pages open your website in which you want to apply this custom font. So now I open the website, go to the site setting icon and hit the site setting button and paste the code 
in the custom CSS section. Now, I want to use this font for my headings, like all the heading which I am, I want to use, I which I want to use in group uh, pages. Like uh, I'm, I want to use H1, H2, H3, all the headings tag which I want to use with the, this custom font. So I will select this first line from font to this and copy. So now when you scroll it down after this icon, so I will type H1 and start the curly braces open and close and then paste the line which I copied. Now, the important point is, so you need to write some code just before this semicolon. So like I am doing, so you need to write, I will provide this code in the description as well, okay? So, so I have type H1 and then I paste my font and then I type sign of explanation and important so when i click on this tick icon and you will see my h1 font has been changed with my custom brand font so this one i have used for my h1 tag how you can identify this one is your h1 tag or which tag so you can see here when you click on any element any content on the right side window you can see this tag name. So here I have H1 tag. So this one is my P tag. So I want to use this font only for my heading. So I have H1 heading here. So I have some other heading like H2. So I want to use this font for my H2 heading as well. So I will go to my site setting again and just scroll it down in the CSS section so you can type comma h2 if you want to use this font for all of your headings so we have h1 h2 s3 h4 h5 and h6 so if you want to use this font for only for the heading so you can put comma and just add all of your h1 tag okay and hit this check icon and you will see so you are all the fonts all the heading tag replaced with a new font, which is your custom brand font. So if you want to use any other font for your paragraph setting, so you can use the same step. First, you need to upload the font in your uh, web font generator website and then paste the code here and you can use it. Thanks for watching.